we go to reports and announcements, I'd like to just point out a couple of things, both to my fellow council members and to the public. In the introduction papers today, we have a second paper coming in that deals with the Redskin Bonds of Course uh, Ordinance, it's an amendment to that. Um, we're going to have, just so everybody is on top of it, we're going to have a special meeting on December 17th at 12.30 to consider that paper. Uh, at that time, at that special meeting, there will be another paper introduced that deals with the Redskin Bon Secours um, transaction. It was the will of council that all these papers be passed before January, um, December 31st. So there will be a second special meeting and people may wear Santa Claus hats for this, on December 27th at 12.30 to pass the paper that's going to be introduced next week. Okay? Any questions on that? Everybody out there with that? Yeah? Okay. I just wanted to give everybody a heads up. 12.30 to be December 17th at 12.30. And then December 27th, so maybe I'll bring some pasta. All right. Okay. All right. Everybody's good. Okay. All right. Uh, three reports and announcements. Mr. Khan. Thank you, President. Appreciate being the first one out of the here. I'd like to say. Made so many new friends, it's just unbelievable. It's like a huge family, you know. And I want to let you know that I'm particularly proud of the most of the that I that finished up. I'm mean, completely finished here in our spring. Every time I ride down that road, I'll think about you all, for sure. Um, I want to let you know that the Hall and Derwent intersection has been fully funded, and that project will start in the early spring. Um, that will eliminate two extra stoplights down there, and all the confusion probably. I'll lose a little bit of business out of it as well, which is not good, but anyway, better for, for our safety for our citizens. The um, James River Branch Trail, Rails Trail, is a 2.3 uh, linear mile of trail in South Richmond. Now has been put in the city's master plan. The funding mechanism is in, in progress, so I look for that to be done in the next several years. So if you all look out for that, that'll be coming along. And I'll be tracking that as well. The uh, Manchester Didwell Training Program, uh, that's the program that, that, we, that the council was kind enough to invest $150,000 on the replication process. That is a standalone program now, and we look to complete the, the, uh, the study on it the next quarter. Uh, we should have, uh, first of all, we should be able to identify the location. We should be able to select a director, and we should identify our funding partners as well. So that program is more of a well, that's uh, to kind of jog your memory, that's the one that, that actually has to be 300 kids per week after school program, and then we'll be training between 100 and 150 adults uh, that are on public assistance. That's what that program is all about. I'm going to stick with that. That's, that's a program that I'm very dedicated to. I want to make sure that that happens. Uh, <clears throat> in addition to that, we uh, talked about the Career and Technical Education Commission, and that I will stay with as well, uh, with the blessing, of course, of, of the existing council. We talked to several members of the council and very supportive of keeping that going. Um, so I'm really looking forward to doing that, that for you. We need more time to focus on those two particular items. I would like to uh, thank all the association members because they have been so good to work with in the past six years in the district, and they are very, very important. People, I can't start thanking people individually because there's just too many people to thank, but they have made this all very, very worthwhile. Um, and I look forward to seeing that <clears throat> one point anyway. In addition to that, <clears throat> I would like to thank Southside Baptist Church. Uh, they have been partners that you would not believe. They have uh, spearheaded all of our cleanups. They're, they're, 
it would relate my right, right, right arm and all the things that we're doing. And I'm sure that that will continue because that's the type of folks that, that Southside Baptist Ministries are. Uh, and in conclusion, basically, uh, I would like to, to thank the administration. I have a really good working relationship with them. Uh, DPW, DPU, those folks that always come to my aid, anything I've ever needed. And then finally, and uh, last but not least, is the city police department. Those guys are heroes. I appreciate everything they do, and they are just as much a part of what we do as what we actually do. They're like the way on. I've never seen such a such a pretty bunch of guys, and, and I really appreciate what they do. So, anyhow, I want to thank you all, and uh, it's been good. Thank you, members. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. Nothing tonight except the happy holidays to everybody. Please remember to be safe to go to and from the various holiday parties, and please don't discharge firearms straight up in the air. <laughs> okay, Mr. Fowler. Madam President, thank you. Um, this Thursday uh, at, uh, let's see, this Thursday, December 13th, we're going to have one more GRT and Transit Study Task Force meeting at 4 o'clock. Main Street Station, or four um, public is invited, and I look forward to seeing those uh, folks that uh, are interested in us transforming the GRTC. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Mr. Collins. Carol. Thank you, Madam President. First of all, I'd like to say that I'm part of the death of Lord's Be Missed, and um, as we're all my family, and I just wanted to say that I'm going to be um, our CAO's marshal was able to obtain $42,000 for these. These are free sun alarms. Um, this will allow our Richmond firefighters to come to your home and continue to put these sun alarms up for you. And also, if your sun alarm needs a battery, they can put one of these batteries in your sun alarm. So all you've got to do is call 646-1526. That's 646-1526. And so an appointment for the firefighters, the Richmond firefighters, will come to your home in Richmond, not just to go out Micro, but in the city of Richmond, and they will install this for you, and they will also put um, this one for a battery in this one for you. So we're doing good. Also, you can also go to the nearest fire station and tell the firefighters that you need your snuggle alarm check, and they will still an appointment with you to come to your home and check. Next Thursday, December the 20th at 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., we're going to have our 8th district meeting. That is the last 8th district meeting of 2012. This will be held at the satellite again. That is December the 20th, third Thursday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And our CAO, Mr. Marshall, will be attending that meeting along with the police department, the fire department, and um, give us some information um, about our city and our district. So we thank Mr. Marshall. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Ms. Uh, Madam President. Uh, just a couple of quick announcements. Uh, I would like to invite all seven district residents to join the mayor and myself on uh, this Wednesday, December 12th, for a community conversation and discussion about the biennial fiscal plan for FY 2014 and 2015 as well as the capital improvement uh, programs, and budgets, and ongoing projects uh, throughout the city and other issues impacting our communities. Again, this will be this Wednesday, December 12th, at George Mason Elementary School, located at 813 North 28th Street at 6 p.m. So please come out and uh, share your thoughts, ideas, recommendations relative to uh, the biennial fiscal plan for the upcoming uh, annual budget process. Second, I'd like to wish all Richmonders an absolutely ha happy, healthy, and uh, very uh, festive holiday season. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jewel. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Madam President. Um, first of all, I uh, just want to reiterate that we are not going to have the Government Operations Committee uh, uh, this month, um, as per my colleague's instruction. Um, secondly, uh, I want to announce that we will have a uh, 5th District meeting, uh, uh, holiday meet and greet uh, at Southside Plaza on the 27th of December, after Christmas, believe it or not. 
um, at, uh, at the uh, social service building at 5.30.
uh, citizens can come to any of these meetings or as many of these meetings as they would like. Uh, but certainly we are having them in perspective of ways to make it as convenient as we can for different sectors of the city. That meeting will be at the Franklin Library at 101 East Franklin Street. Um, and there is a parking garage uh, right across the street at the corner of Grace and Franklin, I think. Now, Grace and Second. That will be available for parking as well. In addition to that, I want to uh, encourage the citizens that live in the North Holland Park community to be attentive to the meetings that are coming up soon as it relates to the continual development of the Dove Street development. Um, I pass through there every day on my way back and forth from City Hall and all the other running around that we do. And the development is moving forward. Uh, it actually looks like some houses are going to be coming up pretty soon. Um, and we're working on a master plan to continue mapping out the rest of the site. Um, and we are hopeful that uh, as we move through this process that the citizens will stay engaged and if there are any challenges that come up as a result of the development, uh, that they would please make sure that they contact the city and myself and let us know how we can be assistance in the process. But I want to thank the administration and their staff for the many, many meetings that we've had and the continued effort that we continue to work through. And I'm confident that at the end of the day, we'll be very pleased with the end product that we're doing in North Holland Park and the development of the community. And Merry Christmas to everyone, and um, look forward to seeing you all the first time of the year. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Robertson. Um, again, I want to remind the council members, special meeting, December 17th at 12.30, December 27th at 12.30. Um, and I'd just like to say a couple words uh, to our departing members, Mr. Kai and Mr. Jewell. A lot has been said um, about family. A lot has been said about team. At the end of the day, we are losing two very valuable members of this council. Um, and it's a loss to this council, both of you. Everybody brings, as Marty said earlier, everybody brings their own thing to council. Um, and um, Mr. Jewell's perspective, Connor's perspective, bring, bring more information and depth to the entire council. We're going to be I'm really going to miss you. I'm going to miss you more. So, good luck. I know that you'll be up here all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but good luck to both of you. Um, and thank you for your service to the city. Thank you very much. Um, also, would like to say uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Everybody have a safe holiday. Don't eat too much, don't drink too much, and just have a good safe holiday. All right, with that, Madam Clerk, we have the introduction of the papers. Yes, new legislation for this evening is as follows. <laughs>